Hi everyone. This is the first part of People Help the People um, Easy Piano Tutorial um, by Birdie, which is a request, so thank you for um, asking for it because it's actually a really, really great song, so I'm really pleased someone asked for it because otherwise I might not have thought of doing it myself. So there you go. Um, first thing to say is that the original key for this piece is F sharp major, which basically means that it's got six flats in it. So flats like Nine times out of ten they're these black notes and they're really difficult to remember which ones are which when you're trying to learn a piece and because this is the easy piano tutorial and um, when I got the music they've actually put it in a different key which means we've only got to remember one flat, B flat, so this is much simpler. Um, so basically what it will mean is if you try and play it with the song this actually sounds um, a note lower than the song so it won't work playing it with the song basically. Um, it will clash. So that's why, if anyone's a bit confused, it's just that it's one note lower than the original song is. Just to explain to you guys. So we're going to start with the right hand um, with this idea that it repeats twice and basically it's this. And then you play. So that broken down is A, C, F, G, F, C, the C above, and then C, E, A, B natural, A, E, C, the four beats, and then B natural again. So that is normally a B flat in this piece, for this little bit here, they've not used a flat to give it a different sort of sound, basically. So try that with me from the beginning. So you're going to go You hold this note for 5 beats and then you start with the C for 4 beats and then you drop down to a B natural for 1 beat The left hand is basically playing F So F is 7 beats long, G is 1 beat, A is 8 beats. So I'm going to put that all together and then you can take this back on the video and try it as well. And then it repeats again, basically. So you play that whole thing that we've just played twice. And the second time through when you play it, um, what you do, you can't see up the keyboard. I'll play it here so you can see it. And then I'll play it where it should be played, which is an octave higher, which is basically the G above this one. You're gonna play G, and an E that you can just see in the screen G and an E then an F and a C and your little finger is going to drop down to the B natural so you're going to go play that again so that added on is and then you repeat the next bit and then add that on again okay but it's going to sound up here that you can't see it's up that way um, and the left hand when you repeat this whole this whole section it's just going to be playing F forget about the G you're going to go straight to A when you play that second Makes sense. So, have a little listen, and um, I'm going to do it from the beginning a little bit slower than it normally would be with that bit added on so you can see what it sounds like. So,
I'll play that last, um, the second repeat of that idea again with that idea down here so you can see it. So you've got, this is the second time you've played it. And then thankfully the next little bit we're going to look at um, is really similar throughout the whole piece um, and it starts with <clears throat> I'm really bad with words, but I'll tell you that now. So, here's what you're going to do. F and A, down to a C, in the right hand. Then you hold this one, and then you jump up to here. An A and a C down to E. And the last one you play is... So it's just twice as quick. So those two bars together. F and A to C, and then A and C to E. You're going to go... Twice as quick. Okay. And the left hand is going to play an F. So basically, when you're holding that first, your right hand moves from there to a G quickly, then to an A. When you start playing the next bar. Okay. So those all together. Have a go with me. bars and then we'll put the words in. Basically you've finished on an A, you've done with the left hand. In the next bar you're just going to play G for four beats and then F for four beats and your right hand has just finished this. Then you go to a B natural and a G down to a D, B natural G down to D for two then you go up to an A and a C for one, then back down, so it's with a quick one at the end. And then you're back down to an F and an A to a C. And then you go up to a G and a B for one, down to a C, and you finish on an F and A. So that bar is, then you go up one, again, up one, back down, so those two bars together sound like this, up one, back down, with the G and then the F in the bass sounds like this, up one, back down, I'll play that again because I got that wrong, <laughs> okay, so it goes like this. then we just put it from God knows what is hiding in those weak and drunken hearts sounds like this okay that's the first section of people help the people I hope it's helped Drop me a comment or a message if you want me to um, go over anything or if you've got any requests for covers or tutorials. Um, and I'm going to be putting up the second part very soon. So keep your eyes open for it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.